Hey folks, Tony Busby has gone too far. He put this post out a day ago, actually using the same logo that I did, referring to his funny relationship with the Houston police and the fact that they have trolled him several times. He says, this is our legal team's response to the hundreds of requests we have received at our Houston office for comment. We will continue to conform our conduct to the ethical rules for lawyers in Texas. We take our obligations very seriously. We will say this once and encourage those inquiring to pay attention to our public filings rather than lawyer statements in the media. These Dasan and Watson cases continue to mount. We filed two more public cases today. Our team has been roundly criticized because these brave women haven't filed formal criminal complaints with the Houston Police Department, although we have provided info to other organizations. Here is my worry. When I ran for Houston mayor against the current mayor, I called for the resignation of the former police chief. I was thus reluctantly initiated in these important cases to provide info to Houston Police Department, at least while Art Acevedo was the police chief, even though my brother-in-law is a longtime HPD officer. Mr. Acevedo has now left Houston for Miami, yet I've since learned that my legal opponent, Mr. Hardin, has a son who is on one of the exclusive command staff of Houston Police Department. I'm not saying in any way that Deshaun Watson's lawyer, Mr. Hardin, has a son who has a position that would compromise Houston Police Department and its investigation. I support his service, along with all other Houston police officers. I think the rank and file know that. But I am saying that me and my clients will go elsewhere to provide our evidence to investigative authorities. That is a lot of bunk because the simple fact of the matter is that on March 19th, when he started crowing about his plan to approach the Houston Police Department, the situation regarding Art was the same, and his brother in law was a long term and is a long term Houston Police Department officer. And Art had left Miami then as well. Uh, when Tony ran against Mayor Sylvester Toner, who said he should be investigated for criminal charges, and he called for the resignation of the former police chief. That was 2019. And that was the same situation March 19th. So why doesn't Tony just admit what is quite obvious? He doesn't have any real witnesses at all. He's got nothing. This is all a sham lawsuit to take down Deshaun Watson's name and devalue him. That's all it was. That's all it was. And Tony has to be quite concerned that he could be sued for abusive process. He's abusing the legal system to defame Deshaun Watson's character. That's wrong. It's also illegal. Subscribe to Zinni62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.